In this tutorial, I'd like to show you FX Factory Slideshows. Slideshows let you quickly and easily animate image files with transition effects between each slide. Slideshows were designed for use in Final Cut Pro 10. They are a part of the FX Factory Pro suite of effects. Slideshows are located in the Generators browser. There are multiple default slideshows we can choose from that use built-in Apple images. I like this preset called Accordion for my slideshow. I'll drag the generator to the timeline. I'll change the length to 14 seconds. From the on-screen controls, I'll click Choose Images. I'll choose some images from my computer. The file chooser pops up next. This is a great feature, unique to this generator. I can change the generic file names to the titles I'd like for on-screen text. I can reorder the pictures via drag and drop. At any time, I can use the plus or minus buttons to add or delete photos. Plus, a double click on the photo itself opens it in preview if I'd like to do any editing. Under the placement setting, I could choose how each individual photo should be displayed on my timeline, since my HD aspect ratio is different than that of these images – fit, fill, stretch, or center. I'll leave these set to default as I'd like to see them on the timeline first. Let's tweak some of the parameters. Before I do anything, I'll uncheck Loop Through Images and adjust my slide duration to 2 seconds and my transition duration to 1 second. My transition direction is currently set to left and the direction selection is set to Cycle Through, meaning it will cycle through left, down, right, up. Let's set it to Single Selection, which will only go left. I like how this looks. You can adjust the amount of folds in the accordion transition. I'll leave it set to 2. Over in the on-screen controls, we can change the fill mode. They all look fine as is, except for where the driver's heads are cropped. I'll simply open the image chooser back up and change them to fit. We'll see black behind this photo, but I'll composite it on the background later. I can turn the titles on or off. I can adjust the font of the titles, with more text controls available in the Generators tab. Color, size, drop shadow, and more. I can easily position the text where I want it with its handle. Command dragging slows you down a bit and shows you exact coordinates, and an option click will reset the text back to default. Shift drag to constrain vertically or horizontally. Lastly, I'll set the motion blur to high and adjust the shutter angle so it looks how I'd like it. And to finish, I'll composite the whole thing on a simple background. So in just a couple of minutes, we've got a great looking, titled slideshow. The slideshow's generators are definitely a must have for your editing toolbox. And best of all, they come as a part of the FX Factory Pro suite of effects. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great plugins, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.